dear students once again welcome back to science class in the previous class we have discussed the types of fibers and there we have concluded with the sources of fibers the major sources of fibers are plants and animals and synthetic fibers are also produced okay and today we are continue with the process of making fabrics okay and uh, we know that the chain that is fibers yarns and finally is converted to fabrics fabrics okay yarns are made up of fibers and fibers are made up of yes different sources like plants and animals and yarns are converted to fabrics okay students and uh, today i am here with a cotton this i have collected from a cotton from the factory okay this is not pure and here you can see i just wanted to separate the cotton from the cotton seeds okay inside this cotton seeds are there from the cotton seeds we wanted to separate the cotton okay so once the seed is separated you will get the cotton okay once you get the cotton what you have to do is just please have a look at here a small piece of cotton i have separated and i stretch it maximum okay i just stretch it maximum can you see i have stretched it maximum so once it stretch maximum just you simply twist it okay just you twist it simply you can see the yarns are obtained this is a little bit thick stuff you can make it small thin strands okay this can be used to make wicks and all in the in order to lighten the lamps you can make it a wicks and all okay so children so what we have discussed what is ginning so just now we have done ginning ginning is the process of separating seeds from the cotton once the cotton is ready that cotton is transported to factory okay from the factory is we are the next we are going to the next process what is that that process is known as spinning after ginning we are going to discuss it is spinning so did you ever uh, did you ever going to visit a spinning machine or a spinning factory did you ever visit the hand loom factory yes once you visited it will be easy for you okay so what happens is after ginning you will get a cotton fiber okay then cot this cotton fiber what they are doing is using spinning machine they are spin to yarns okay in the olden days there is no such kind of spinning machines you know at the freedom struggle okay you know the gandhi ji mahatma gandhi ji with the charka right no and before inventing charka there is a other spinning machine that is the takli okay when you go uh, when you see the picture of mahatma gandhi you can see that gandhi ji with the charka that time we were rejected the clothes from foreigners okay we that time people in india wanted to uh, hand loom they need to hand loom their clothes okay what that gandhi ji is doing charka okay you see charka and takli in the olden days people were spin the fibers in yarns okay so after spinning you will get a bundles of yarns okay that is process is known as spinning so the next it is weaving what is weaving okay in order to weave the material in order to weave it so what you have to do is arrange the fibers arrange the fibers like this arrange the fibers like this so after that on the top you can see the other set of fibers like this okay that process is known as weaving so children i have a small fabrics here i have kept a small fabrics here so okay what you can do is can you see if i if i take the small can you see it if i take the let uh, the threads out if i remove one threads out or if i can remove 
more than one threads out of this fabrics. Okay, you can see the threads are coming out of the fabrics. So at the same time, you can see this is the vertical section of yarns. Okay, at the same time, you can see the horizontal section of yarns also. Okay, so what is weaving? How this is waved? Okay, the five the yarns are arranged vertical and horizontally. And finally, it can be weave it into a fabrics. Okay, so after weaving, the next step is that knitting. Knitting. So what is knitting? Knitting is mainly done in the case of woolen materials. Knitting is mainly done in the case of woolen materials. Okay, woolen materials, how a woolen blanket or a woolen uh, muffler are being made using a single yarn. A single yarn is knitted into a large, I mean a bigger muffler or a, uh, or a bigger sweater. If you take a one yarn from that woolen sweater, what happens? The whole yarn will be coming together. Using a one yarn, okay, a one yarn has knitted into a woolen blanket or a woolen sweater. So if you remove one particular yarn from there, the whole sweater is coming out. The whole yarn will be coming out. This is not possible to take like this. Okay, let us go into an uh, animation. There you will identify the different machines and how you will reach the fabrics. Okay, how a fibers converted to a fabrics. Let us go into detail by watching the video. Okay. We have already learned that the several strands of fibers are twisted together to form yarns. And how fibers are converted to yarns, the fibers which are obtained from plants and animals are converted into yarn. The only step is spinning. The process of making yarn from fibers is called spinning. In this process, fibers from a mass of cotton wool are drawn out and twisted. Spinning is done manually with charka or takli on a smaller scale. If you want to prepare larger scale, spinning machines are being used. Okay, here you can see. And let us see how yarn converted to fabric. Weaving and knitting are used for the conversion of yarn into fabric. Okay. The process of arranging two sets of yarns together perpendicular to each other to make fabric is called weaving. Weaving of fabric is done on looms. The looms are either hand operated or power, power operated. You can see hand loom machines over here. In knitting, a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric. Unlike weaving, but two sets of yarns are required. Knitting is done by hand and also on machine. Okay. And this summarizes the whole process of like the fibers which is obtained from plants and animals or from the chemicals are first converted into yarn by the process of spinning. So yarns are converted to fabrics either by using weaving or knitting. Finally, the fabrics are converted to clothes by stitching. Okay, and this is, yeah, I hope you learn how a fiber is converted into fabrics. Okay, these are the steps we have mainly followed. Okay.